videos like this in relation to the arsenal reviewing gear testing gear um, showing like new additions to the arsenal like this right here staccato key that I almost dropped but yeah so x300 universal holster from Amazon and then I'll also put the link in the description comes with this thing here that shows just you know how to use it and whatnot. And then oops, toss that down there. Um, I did order something else that I expected to be here first, but I mean since it's not here yet, I guess we can just test this thing out. But the reason I got this is because it's a holster that is like a drop leg holster. So I've been wanting to test out things like that. So, I'm um, trying to see, okay, so again, well, not again, but empty, safe direction, boom, um, we're about to just see if this thing fits in here at all first, well, I've actually, so, I believe the retention is on the um, light itself, but lengthwise, it does look like it fits, so, I mean, this is pretty much what it will look like. This video is kind of a fail so far because we have to wait until the um, the piece that we need gets here. Um, let me see. Just yeah. Okay, so it's a retention thing. So you put your firearm in here, then you pull out like that. Pull out game is crazy. So I can't wait to actually test this, but just from the looks of it so far. It will not foul the optic that I do have on order. So, I mean, we could just take a closer look at this holster as it is. And it's going to be like this. So, as you can see, It's not going to be all the way up here like my current one is. Like the one that I have at work is about here. It's kind of, a, if you guys could see, it's kind of annoying to grab like this. Naturally, my arms are a little long. I think I could even make this uh, thing go lower. So as long, if it could go like right here, bam. So yeah, this will be super perfect as long as it could go a little bit lower. But yeah, I actually can't wait to use this thing. Or I could also get a... Um, a thing that goes on the strap that goes on your thigh and then boom because it's just super natural to draw like that for me but um yeah this is gonna be super nice i hope we'll be testing it so let's see okay so it has this thing here let's see how we probably in the instructions and you know reading is fundamental so it's probably best that I like read okay so it is going somewhere sort of let's see I don't know but yeah it does come down um, but yeah, so far, the beginning of this video is a fail because the retention is on the X300. I thought the retention was on the gun itself, but yeah. So, when that comes in, we'll continue this video. I don't know how many days it's going to be. For you guys, it's going to be half a second. For me, maybe tomorrow, maybe two days, maybe three days, four days, five days. Who knows? All right, so this is a new video, so we're gonna. Safe direction. Um, 
this is a continuation of the last video where we unboxed our Furfire F300F. And you're probably wondering, F300F? Furfire? What the hell are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is the fact that this is a $29 weapon light with um, $20 worth of batteries. So, yeah, the batteries are pretty much worth the same as the thing. So, but yeah, it does function. Um, I don't know if it has, like, all the same functions as the authentic one. I've never had one before, but I... Again, just to pre preface this video, um, this is for research purposes and for when I do purchase an authentic one, I want to make sure that it at least does not match this and the differences will let me know that the one that I do purchase is real because the real ones are like $300 and I do not want to get got because I guarantee there are people with these off fake ones because as you guys can see, like look at this, X300 Ultra. And then it says surefire. Then it has a number on it and everything. It has some weight to it. This thing, I don't know the material, but it doesn't feel like cheap or anything. So, yeah, people are probably out here rocking these, thinking that they have an authentic one the whole time. It is a fur fire. So, I'm not trying to be that person. I'd rather spend $30 and make sure that the thing that I buy for $300 is real than to buy, spend $300 first. And then find out months, weeks, years later that it's not real and be SOL because I'm like outside of the return window. Regardless of if that's fraud or not. Whatever. But yeah, so this video is going to be on the continuation of this. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to slap this on the end of the last video that I was recording of this thing. Um, and then test it out. But as you guys can see, I need something with a belt, so I'm going to put on some jeans. So give me one quick second. So yeah, here we go. Ooh, hopefully I'm in frame. Actually, give me a second. So yeah. Don't pardon my subtle flex. You know, I forgot my duty belt at, at work, so I have to use like one of the only belt. Well, not one of the only belts I have, but I only have like... Louis Vuitton belts because these things last forever. I've had this thing for many, many years. And yeah, so again, safe direction. And uh, let's see, is it backwards? It might be backwards. I have no idea. Oh no, it's not. So I guess we just gotta figure out like how it works. Oh wow, this thing actually, and granted, this is not great, be... the setup isn't great because the bottom is just floppy, as you guys can see, but it does work. I guess I just have to adjust like the, um, what do you call it, there's like some things that you can put in there that like you can change, but it does work. So when I do get a proper, like, drop leg holster set up um, or when I figure out how to use this thing properly because this does need something at the bottom to hold it down but you know just for like range practice and stuff like that this definitely would work so boom and then it does go in pops right out so yeah it does need the uh, uh, springs or whatever changed not springs, but it has these like little guides that you put in somehow and it makes it so like your thing slides in properly. But yeah, it's not scratching anything up or anything like that. Um, light still goes on and off, but I'll put the link to this thing in the description if anybody's interested. And we'll just add this to the arsenal. I think this was probably like 30 bucks or something. For what it is, is it worth it? I don't know because I haven't gotten a chance to actually use it, but boom, and it goes right in. So can't really complain about that. 
Bang. Yeah, it doesn't go in as smoothly as I would like, but that's because I need to change whatever these spring things are. So this thing goes in just like smoothly in, in the direction that it has to go because like it kind of like goes around, but yeah, we'll figure it out. But it does not come out and the thing does work. So we'll figure it out. But it is cool looking though. Like I look real official tishel. This cheap fur fire this is at least doing something so yeah for now thanks for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace